Welcome to Green Hills of Tyrol workshop lesson one. Link below for all the workshop uh, lessons you can find in one place, as well as some sheet music I got for you. In this first lesson, we're starting off on low A, but with this being a typical march, we're going to get there from E. There we go, that's the right song. So we're going from E to low A. If you're new to the chanter, you want to keep your fingers fairly straight. There's four finger holes on the bottom, usually your right hand. Top hand is uh, three finger holes on the top and one thumb hole on the back. And we're on an E to start out, so our ring finger's up on our bottom hand, pinky's up, or pinky's up on the bottom hand, ring finger's up on the top hand. So we're gonna go down to low A, we can get there with a G grace note. We'll talk about that in a moment. If you're just gonna do the transition without embellishments, you're gonna drop down the ring finger of the top hand down to low A. After that low A, we're gonna go up to B by lifting the ring finger of the bottom hand. And we're not on that B very long before we go to C by dropping the pinky, and then we end up on that C note. And we're going to add in a little bit more just yet to this lesson, but first let's add in some embellishments to these first few notes. So if we're going to do embellishments, we can do a G grace note from that E down to low A. So that G grace note, top finger of the top hand has to lift. You do your transition down to low A by dropping the ring finger. That top finger comes back down. That's our G grace note. From there, we go up to that quick B by lifting up that ring finger. And then what that embellishment is, is a grip. So we're on the B already. We drop down to low G by dropping down both those low hand fingers. And then we're going to do a D grace note. And then we're still on the low G. Then we pop up to C. So that's kind of a slow motion version, drop down to low G, you have the grace note, we have a second low G, and then up to C. So slow it down if you need to, try to keep it really even, those, both those low Gs on either side of that D grace note should be the same length. Uh, if you're playing it nice and slow and that'll help as you speed it up over time. So here's the first little bit with embellishments again. And then from there we have a, got a wet reed again, <laughs> get some of the moisture off. All right, so from there we have a, a doubling and if a doubling's a bit much you can just do a G grace note. Uh, we're just separating two C's in a row here so even if you're a little bit shy on, on uh, grace notes, I, I'm confident you can do this one. So this as well sound like if you're doing the non-embellished version. After that grace note, so we're on the C, we do a G grace note. We don't go anywhere until after the grace note, we have another C and then we drop down to low A. When you drop down to low A, When you drop down to low A, well, you want to lower down those middle two fingers of the bottom hand and lift up the pinky finger. So that's our lesson one without embellishments. And then if we added in the embellishments towards the end here, on that C, we have a doubling. So we have to do a double, two grace notes. First one is the G grace note, up and down, top finger of the top hand. Second grace note is our is our D grace note. So our top finger of the bottom hand goes up and down. That's our C doubling. So there's our C doubling. Right after that C doubling, we drop down to low A. And we're going to get there with an E grace note. So this is our first E grace note of the tune. Awesome. Uh, so our E grace note finger lifts up. That's the ring finger of the top hand. Then we drop down to the low A with the bottom hand. Grace note finger comes down. So let's put that doubling and E grace note together. 
So that's that doubling the knee grace note. And all together with the embellishment. And that's lesson one. If you want all the lessons, click on the link below, as well as I got some sheet music there where I've highlighted which section each lesson, lesson is so you can follow along easier with the sheet music. Until next time, uh, happy piping. Can't wait to see you in lesson two.